Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nefo29 and here's what's in our backpack. We're a little overweight. Uh, which would be primarily, I think, because of the gun. Um, uh, we got those that we can get rid of. Those canisters. Uh, we got a lot of coffee and tea. We don't have any food. I ate cattails. Um, there's the rifle. We're gonna get rid of that too. And two kilograms of arrow shafts, and we have all that lantern fuel. Oh, that's full. I didn't realize. Okay. Well. And we have four saplings. We are day 183. And here's our skills. Wow, all that fishing we did and it went up like that much. That's disgusting, to be honest. There we go. And we are early morning. All right, eight till melted, 42 until boiled. I'm going to go out here and check if there's a carcass. I don't think there was. I think I already took from it. I believe. Wow, it's windy. Now, I was thinking, I mean, because we really don't have a base, uh, a home base, I could just go to Bleak from here. But... Then I thought, well, I have that rifle and I have the flask that have to go to uh, the camp office. And we're, we're right there. I mean, I may as well just take it over there. Get rid of it. Okay, I don't see anything out here. Let's just go back. Um, I might maybe do a repair on something to kill time. Oh, I wanted those as well. Let's grab those. So yeah, I was thinking, like, I don't have to go anywhere. We can just go directly there, but that, ah. If I go directly there, then I have to make sure I come back here to pick up the rifle and the flask. And while we're at the camp office, I can drop off a bunch of the coffee and tea. And obviously the saplings, which I didn't realize I had. So, what do we got? 24 minutes. What are the pants? 22 minutes. Let's do that. I need to find some place to escape. Oh, I should have been smarter about that. Uh, let's do that. We're going to take you and you. We're going to go back here. We'll probably do another repair. Or, what do we have? 85? What do we have for cloth? Really Three? With this much gear. All right. Let's just do repairs. We can grab more cloth at the camp office if there's any. All right, that should be fine. And let's just fill our bladder. And what do we got? Drop three of those. That's fine. Let's go. Yeah, we're, we're basically just going to the camp office and coming right back here. This wind is horrible. What is the wind? Minus 23 on the wind. And we have... Whoops, we don't want that. We have 38 arrows. So yeah, we don't... I don't think we need to carry the arrow shafts. Did we have feathers as well? We have only 15. That's not too, too much. It's not like having 180 on you where it actually weighs something. Uh, 
Uh, I do have that, uh, I have two pieces of birch bark, so we can craft another piece or another thing of birch bark. Jesus look at the God. weather. Like, like it's so terrible out. Minus 16 is what it feels like. We're almost freezing already. We're not even out. Might have to stop in the trailer. What I don't want to do is I don't want to go into bleak and instantly have a bunch of condition lost because I don't know how it's going to go with the Timberwolves. Let me get near these rocks so I can get a windbreak. There we go. Do I if I don't warm up soon? I'm trying to keep this windbreak. I can drop any of this gear. Uh, we're gonna have to do something about our food too. So we might, when we get back to Ravine, we might go hunting for a deer. We will see. Uh, we'll also, while we go past the moose area, we'll have a look and see if there's a moose there. I don't think this was... I think we had the one out by that trailer, but I'm still going to look. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty obviously messed up. Did I miss this? Well, it didn't matter. Uh, I do want to do that. Or have I just not been in here? Or did... What the... I missed all of those? No. Okay. I thought I had been in these trailers. Maybe I've only been in the other one. Um, you know what, actually? We need cloth. We need to warm up just do that uh, i think that's everything in here all right let's go check the uh other trailer i think maybe i was in this one and i only ever stopped in this one just briefly to warm up i don't know why i would go into a trailer but not actually search it weird isn't ah oh, there's no way i haven't been in this one either we're we're 160 days into the run sorry 183 days into the run and i haven't been into these trailers wow unbelievable well, i'll take that i guess Take that. Anything else? Isn't there usually a medical box over here? Oh well. Alright. Uh, what do we got here? Let's eat the peaches. They'll be a lot lighter inside our belly. Not sure I can carry much more. There we go. That doesn't sound like very good weather. It sounds like a blizzard. Yep. Alright. Well, I guess... Good thing we found that book. I'd rather read this book than the other ones. I'm just gonna put four. I'll just cancel if the weather sounds clear. And the weather does not sound clear. We should be able to drink. Hey, we got gunsmithing too. Not like it matters, but we got it. 
I really don't want to eat the cattails because I don't want to uh, have to pick even more. Well, wow, this is a 20 hour book. It doesn't sound like it's cleared up, but I'm just going to have a peek. Maybe it's just a... No, it's not. It's a full-blown. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to keep carrying this book. Just because it's lengthy. Alright, we got... We're clear on that now. I think that blizzard's done. We're going to have just enough time to get to the camp office. Oh. Let us check. Did I leave meat outside the, uh, the dam? Why do I think I did? We're right here. We may as well have a peek. Yeah, I, I don't remember that I did, but I have something in my head is just saying, hey, there was meat at the at the at the dam entrance. Yeah, because I don't remember what I have at the camp office. I, I think there's some meat there, but I don't know that there is. Maybe there's no meat here. those <laughs> not like it matters uh, luckily the wind is well I thought it was behind us until I saw a snowflake coming at us now it's kind of coming from that way I think just pull out our bow just in case there's usually a wolf in this area so see I told ya oh you took a barrel off of me too now, if I get there and there's no meat, I'm going to regret not taking meat off of this guy. Because you know what? I'm just going to do it. It's like 20 minutes. I'm going to do it because I will really regret if we don't have. And it's plus two. Uh, take that. Yeah, it's literally 20 minutes. I was just guessing. Yeah, it's kind of warm. I mean, if we're not losing temperature, why not do it, right? This pack is getting too heavy to carry. We got two bars of scent. I just looked like a genius when I first I said there's usually a wolf out here and then there was and then I said that it would be like 20 minutes to harvest and it was exactly 20 minutes. Wow. <laughs> that don't happen very often. I'm going to say that that counters thinking there was meat at the damn entrance. It doesn't really, but I'm saying it does. not the reality of the situation it's how I feel about the situation all right I don't speaking of feel I don't feel like looking for birch bark I feel like getting to the camp office we can't run um, I don't want that out 
I will be happy to get rid of this rifle. Um, and I do think at some point I will go back to the Mountaineer's Hut in Timberwolf Mountain and get the rifles and uh, revolver. There's another wolf. Get those and bring them to the camp office where they belong. There we go. There's the benefit of getting them before they've noticed you. Four point one. I truly believe that if you get a hit on an animal before they've noticed you, I do think you have a higher chance for a critical hit. I don't know that for, for like specific fact, but I've done it enough times that it seems to be the case. Anything else? I don't think so. That wolf obviously came from this area. But we could have one in the next little area too. Hopefully he shows his face before uh, we get too close to the, the door. Let's go check this deer. That a big fat juicy buck over there. What's he doing? He's sitting there eating. Take that. I know stuff. Sometimes. Sometimes I do. Oh, Ooh, the wind died down. Where's that deer? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We got a green buck over there. Yeah, we got the Aurora. I wish I had a rock. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Make sure it's loaded. This area, even in the best of times, if you got sent coming up, cresting this hill is always a little sketchy. We need nine more cattails. I'm not going to go out of my way to get any. But at some point, we might. Do that. I wonder. I do want to find more caches. I don't believe I'm supposed to have to carry the radio out. Like if we get within range, it's supposed to signal the player to let them know but I'm not sure that that's working completely we've seen it when we were in the airfield I believe I might be wrong with 
where we were actually were. Uh, we're gonna have to get... What are you? You're two and you're... Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? It's nice and calm. And we're getting hungry, so let's cook. And whilst we cook, we can take the deer and the, or the meat and the hide. Let's put you away. One of you, that's 40 minutes. That's 49. Do that. Um, I think I have to eat cattails. Damn it. Twenty nine minutes. Um, yeah, we should be totally fine there. There we go. Fourteen and five. There we go. Food is no longer a big issue. You know what? I'm going to save those ones. Let's cook the wolf. 48, 47. Uh, yeah, and going to the camp office, I can drop these things off. That's almost half a kilogram right there on those two. I'm just going to forward it. Forty-three. All right, fill the belly. All right, let's go. Still can't run. What's actually our, what is our, we're, okay, we're at 58 kilograms. Uh, we're still pretty close to, to full capacity. But it's not so much the amount of weight. Oh, see, there we go. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Where were you? You made a noise. It won't be the blue one, right? It, I mean, it'll be this one. There it is. Where are you? How come I didn't get a signal back there? I'm dropping. I'm dropping some weight. Let's go. Yeah, I wonder if the Aurora just hadn't kicked in enough. We didn't get a signal anywhere out here. I really don't know where this is either. Can't be too terribly far. Maybe it's over by the moose spawn. Even that seems like it might be a little bit too far. Uh, we should be sleeping, but whatever, I mean. You gotta check for the caches when you have the ability to check for the caches. 
I just hope it has something useful in it to us, right? Like, don't give me a flare and a pe- uh, like a- <laughs> Hey, Merd. <laughs> Welcome in. Oh, maybe it's over by the, uh, the big fat juicy buck. How you doing, Merd? Thank you for that. Look what we're doing, Merd. How are we all? We're broken, that's how we are. <laughs> yeah. You had a busy night at work. Have you ever found this cash, Merd? Follow the high pitch. Oh, it's close. That's good. Instantly, as soon as you see the MRE, you're like, yep, yeah, that's good. I don't mind the stem either. I can do without the others, but whatever. I'm going to call that a good one. What's the condition on that MRE anyway? 82. All right, we need to get back. I shouldn't be running because that's not going to help our situation out at all. But I might actually just throw everything into the sled. Uh, is that fire still going or did it get blown out? I'm not sure if I'm seeing a glow over here. I don't see smoke though. I think it got blown out. I was going to say if it, uh, if it was still going, I'd make some coffee and drink that and give us both a temperature boost and yeah, it's blown out and help our carry capacity. But All right. There's all our stuff. Yeah, I'm going to use the sled for this part. Uh, where are you? Right there. You're at 86. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. All right, first things first, you and you for sure. Uh, coal weighs a lot. You can go in there, you and you. That's, oh, we're at 25. Oh, get in there. 39 out of 35. All right, that's better. We're going to wake up at midday, I think. 
I'm just hoping there's no wolves up here. I'm going to swing wide. Uh, it's looking clear. That's good. Gonna, I think once we get to the camp office, we're just gonna go right to bed. We'll deal with our inventory primarily in the morning. Uh, we'll drop off the the hides and the uh, saplings just to get them curing. And then off to bed. Everything else can be done while there's some sort of daylight. Today's word is Potsolana. And what does that mean? Is that like if you're a cannibal and you're cooking some lady named Lana? What's the red light? That's the the lookout. That's what that is. Barely walk with this much gear. Alright, there is meat here. That's fine. Get you put away. A porous variety of volcanic tuff or ash used in making hydraulic cement. I think hydraulic cement needs its own definition. <laughs> You're cured. Uh, I think I might want to use that cured hide. It cured maple, but doesn't really matter now, does it? Alright, let's go. Although, since we're down here and we have an Aurora, let's check. We got a new one. Oh, now I'm blind. Hey! That messed up my lantern. It showed my lantern is still being lit, but it clearly wasn't. That was weird. Uh, one thing I can get rid of. I, I shouldn't be doing this right now. I should just be going directly to bed. Yeah, screw it. We'll just go to bed. Uh, we will eat is getting too heavy to carry. There we go. And we will drink and we'll go to bed. There we go. Almost midday. Are we actually finished sleeping? No, we're not. I don't think it matters, to be honest. Alright, I don't think you are a duplicate. I think you're a whole brand new one. Uh, we still have to go to Mountain Town and look for that one. That's like the best one and we don't have it. Oh, that's not how I wanted to do it. I wanted to do this. Uh, you should just go over here. I guess I'm not really displaying the guns. Or am I? 
Maybe it's just that I didn't bring the other ones here, so that's why it's... You're at 25. You're at 100. I don't really want to take you, though. Uh, what do we have? We got to break you down. Oh, I want to get rid of those arrow shafts for now. I'm displaying the guns at the... The Mountaineer's Hut. Kinda. Kinda. I do think I might bring those here. We'll see. Uh, you are about to break. So we'll just take you apart. Make another new one while we have that on us. There we go. Drop you. Um, we don't need to carry the bullets. And this is as good a place as any to drop them, so... Drop those up there. Uh, was there... Okay, lantern fuel. And I'll be dropped on the floor, like... I'll fill that first. And we'll do that. Uh, what's... There's nothing in here, right? Okay. Um... That's... Those... I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna throw 34 of these in here. Actually, you know what? We don't need to make any. We have a lot, and I'm gonna throw these in there for the time being. Um, I'm gonna keep all of these flares. I'll die if I don't drink soon. Oh, damn it, Astrid. Oh, <laughs> whoops. There, that ought to shut her up, right? Oh, damn it, I'm on A to Z. So that screwed that up. Whatever. Do that. Let's do that. We have water in the cave. In ravine, so we're okay there. Uh, now I was gonna drop a bunch of the coffee as well. Uh, let's do that. What I, I'm going to keep those and the ones that I have already made. That should be more than enough. Way more than enough because we only have really one rope. So it's not like we're actually going to be using it. Right, there's all the coffee. You... Look better right there. And the tea. Get rid of these. Alright, that's all good. And what's in here that I don't need? I think I kind of need everything. Uh, did we have any cloth upstairs? I think these bins are all empty upstairs. Yeah, those are empty. All right. And there's nothing on the floor. Uh, I'm going to take the cloth off of these. Where was it? This one. And there's that one. What about this one? Nope. Let's actually take it from this one. Because it's harder to see. 
Where are we going? We are going to Bleak. Right, that gives us seven. We have enough. Oh! I need to drop the canisters. And I'll drop those. I don't think I need the hooks, but honestly, they don't weigh anything, so I don't care. All right, let's go. Follow our tracks. And what do we have? We needed nine. We, now we need ten. Ten cattails. So our bows, we I kept both of them. This one's 69. That should be enough. And that's 89. Uh, the last thing I want to do when I'm out there is be worried that my bow is getting low. Does it have a... Does it show you um, caches? No, it doesn't. That would actually be nice if they showed you um, how many of how many, right? And maybe even change it to operate like uh, which what was it? The surveyed locations. Because you can force reveal and now you know where you have to go. I wish the caches did that. Um, not necessarily telling you where, you know, what landmark they're at, but just like, you know, you found one of two and you click on that force reveal and it says okay that's two in mystery lake don't give me the the location because it kind of renders the the radio almost useless but i wouldn't mind if they showed how many there were uh maybe people might disagree with me on that too maybe that's part of the fun is not knowing the heck we got peaches and we got a couple more cattails I'll just grab what's ever left in this area. Oh, there's two right here. I can't just leave these. I have to take them. Darth, if you're watching and if you're watching, <laughs> if you're watching, 
That cattail evening goes for you. I will never learn my lesson about carrying a rock for these. And I will never trust these. Even if I knew that when I went through here the first time I killed the wolves and I went directly back against them, I still don't trust them. Did I actually drop everything that I wanted to drop? I think I did. We have 38 arrows. It's looking like we're getting a blizzard. <laughs> what are you purring for? We're walking? Copper likes the walking. I think there's a chat lag because I said that right, like, I don't know, four or five seconds before it appeared on my screen. I'm just waiting to see if you'll believe me with it, as you said. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Merd fell for it. Merd's probably not thinking. He's like, mmm, chocolate. Nah, I was just kidding. Everything was fine. We were just thinking alike. Listen to what we got. Why do I remember like my grade four teacher or grade five? I don't remember telling me you don't got anything. You have this. That's what just popped into my head. No, I got it. I don't care what you say. I got it. You ask me, do I have that? Yep, I got it. Who decided the English language? Who decided how to use words in this way or that way? And why? You don't think deer are communicating with each other and one of them's like, ah, 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 ah. That's the wrong pronunciation of that bleep. Wrong usage as well. Other oh, deers like, dude, did you understand what it meant though? Yeah? Oh, okay. And shut up. <laughs> It's almost too late to really just even be going. Um, we'll see how this goes. We're going to go in here and warm up. And then we're going to come back out. <clears throat> Ooh, we're heavy with what we have. Oh, damn it. I meant to drop that out at the camp office. And the whole reason I took those, you know what? 
Let's just cook them. Same with the matches. I should have just dropped them off too. When are we not heavy? Yeah, no kidding, eh? Alright. I intended to save those for, like, carry pies, but that clearly didn't happen. 39, 54, that's more than enough. I'm gonna go back here. Look at our alertness is so high. But do I really want to be going into bleak against Timberwolves? Because you're going to encounter that pack. Oh. I remember something else. I remember I can go up to the left when we enter there. And I can go to the bunker. And I meant to drop this, honestly. I was gonna, I mean, this is 20 hour book. I don't really care to be carrying this. Um, I think we're warmed up enough. I'm dropping you here. And yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, think about what I'm carrying right now because when we come back I mean we can go out the other one into Forlorn, the other exit that's where we usually exit anyway Knife over remembering things what madness is this? Yeah I know I'm having a good memory day I'm not actually looking for this stuff, but I'm finding it. And if I'm finding it, I'm picking it up. Um, is that deer going to be burnt by the time I get back? By the time I deploy this? Am I going to go back and it's all gone? We're going to have to walk against this wind to get back. Oh, there's two more. Uh, I seem to have missed. There it is. whilst I do this. Yep. Okay, let's go. You can go lurk for a bit, copper. All right. Thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Hope you feel better. Uh, I guess I can run. don't want that meat burnt. I don't know how long 40 minutes in the game takes. We made it. Now let's get back here. Put you down. Um... 304. 
I might actually go over there and throw some water on that fire. Uh, we won't be taking it with us, but just so that we have some if we need some. And that's 49 minutes. That, to be honest, with this being an outdoor fire, that might be enough. Uh, 12. I'm going to make it long enough. In case the game is like, well, you were indoors, so we're going to count that as an indoor fire. Alright. Let's just read you for an hour. We'll go check on the water when we're done this. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I, I have enough water. One minute to boil. Alright, we need you and we need you. And we're going to do this. Go for a little cave jug. Mind the fire. All right, it's about as much running as we're gonna get. Um, just read for a while, I guess. If only I could make those. Eyes that take away your alertness. All nice and calm and quiet. Okay, that is... You know what? That might actually work. Let's do that. Eat that. Drink that. All right, what do we not need? Uh, I know you see, and you're seeing all these hooks, but that's like barely like the weight. It's just barely over the weight of a, a sewing kit. Um. The arrows themselves, five kilograms. That's probably be between the arrows and the, the water. That's probably the biggest problem right there. Uh, we can lose the weight of two pieces of cloth by doing this. Oh, Murd wants a stretch. Okay, give me a second. Let's repair you. Thanks, Mert. All right, forty-four ninety-five. Uh, we have twenty of you. Look at that. I like that. We don't necessarily need all those, but I'm not dropping them in here. So, uh, I'm gonna do that. Unfortunately, I don't think I can really get that much lighter. You know. leave one thing of water here we'll see I mean if we find any more birch bark I'm gonna take it you know I'm gonna take it um, I'm just not gonna walk all over looking for it it's gonna kind of look as I'm walking by. Oh, 
I'm not seeing any, so... That's unfortunate. We're going to end up with uh, just an extra piece. Too bad. Oh well, let's go. Right, what do we have? We have one piece. Yeah, we have just the one piece of meat. We don't have any visible scent, so that's... Did I already get... What the hell happened there? Okay, I don't know. I was trying to see the sticks on that ledge to see if there was like an actual piece of wood, but for some reason I wasn't able to, to aim my view towards it. And then I thought it dropped me a little ways, but then I noticed, no, it didn't. That was just, well, that was interesting. Uh, the rifle book. Bullets. All right, let's go. Uh, we can probably just warm up in this cave. Maybe even grab some meat from the carcass off of there. Maybe take the hide as well. Um, hmm. Do I want to risk taking the guts? I kind of want to go in, and, like just enter and go to the left is what I want to do, and go up to the bunker first. Without dealing with Timberwolves. You leave a coffee, a carry pie, a liter of water, and a little food in that train car? I don't very often, in fact, I almost never actually climb that rope. Oh, that's a good find. Uh, I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I can go right there. That's a hundred. Okay. You and we'll retreat. Wait. Um, up a bit. I am pretty sure that wolves can't come up here. Actually, I don't care. I'm interested in checking. I'm reading this book because we it's only four hours. Oh boy, that meat's probably charred. Almost. It's there just in case you like having backup plans. I think having a backup plan is kind of your own way of doubting yourself. I like being confident and cocky. <laughs> <laughs> back up. We don't need no stinking backup. We are the backup. <laughs> right, I guess I'll, uh, I'm jumping ahead, but I guess I'll take guts off of. A timber wolf. But I'm gonna leave the deer hides, I think, inside. Oh, 
the lookout. For now, we'll see. I might take them to the lower portion. Alright, is that where I go up? And am I going to break my bones? Or do I have to go up here? I don't know. I'm going to try going up here. There we go. I believe this is a first for me. I do, I do, I do believe. Um, uh, bunkers that way. Come on, let me do this without breaking my bones away Do I have visible scent? No. Alright, this is going to be empty, right? But we still have to go to it. That's my personal rule for every run. Must go to every bunker. Uh, empty, as if you don't know, empty doesn't mean it's got absolutely nothing. Sometimes there is one item. Alright. Just top up our belly and our... Do that. Uh, the reason I do that is, number one, if somebody new is watching, they, they can see where the bunker is. And... It also, like in the in the case of Blackrock, when we go to Blackrock, there's that obviously that bunker is going to be empty too. But having to go to the bunkers gives me a reason to actually go there to that side of the map because I don't believe there's anything else over at that side. And so that's an awful large area of the map I wouldn't be going to. If I was to say, well, I got all three full bunkers now, so I'm good. Nope, I'm not good. Must go. Alright, anything else? Nope. Alright, I've never fought the wolves from this area. Uh, what can I do? You like playing that way too? XM? Preparing for stuff even if the likelihood is low? Makes it feel like, more like surviving to you. Alright. The biggest thing here is make sure they don't surround you. So seeing them first. And potentially getting a shot off on one of them. Is a big deal. And that guy seems as though he's coming. Right. Must not be too close to the tree, we know that. Ah, oh, you son of a... Go sniff my arrow. Okay, I got a hit on one of them. 
Oh, sick. Quick, quick, Astrid. Oh, bugger. <sighs> oh, this guy is going to try now. Okay, I have one arrow out in the wild. I can see this one. Okay, I got two out in the wild. I didn't know that guy was there. <laughs> I I came and picked up my arrow right here and Dude's like just chilling right here. That was interesting. Can't say I've ever had that happen. <laughs> you shall call that wolf ghost wolf ghost wolf yeah uh, come on I'm tired of blizzards you can't give me a blizzard every second day I gotta listen for wolves going down because two of them have arrows Which means I can't shoot any right now because there's only three, I believe. I don't believe you've been hit. Well, you didn't leave any blood either. Uh, I don't know. I hit two of them. Maybe there was five. I don't know. I didn't drop any though. Like none actually went down. Well, here, let's just, uh, let's work our way over and get the code. Birch sapling. I'll I'll get it on the way back. I didn't see a birch sapling. How far back was it? We got a deer. Oh. I wouldn't go that way if I were you, little lady. Near the rope. Okay. I'll have a look when I go back. Now, are we going to get the gun inside the car or is it going to be inside there? Or is it the truck that has it? Take that, some help if you need it. Take the key. Nothing in there. Got a flare. in here so I don't need to rush too much but we're not warming up 
enough. I think we'll just go right up into the the building and warm up in there. And then when we come out, guaranteed I'm going to be lost. There's the door. This bridge is literally straight out the door, but every single time I come out there. Oh, that's why is because I have to turn a little bit to the right. Don't I? It has me coming up. Yeah, that's probably why. I'm going to look up here. I know there's nothing up here, but I'm doing it anyway. Hey, Billy Wilson. Welcome in. How are you doing? All right, nothing's up here. Let's get inside. You just got settled into the office and you get an hour of the show. Nice. All right. Uh, that works. All right. We need this. Oh no. The weather's getting bad. I'll take the stem, I guess. Come in handy. Eh, not really. Communication report. Code 154 to bypass the security. Alright, nothing in there. We got you. Military Nobody code. Needs this anymore. I'll take the casings, I guess. I'll check the floor if there's a casing on the floor too. I'm not sure if there is, but... yourself because hinterland's like no we got a polaroid camera coming in the next dlc update which will be interesting apparently it was supposed to you know you find all the camera pieces and then you got to go to a black room or a dark room and i thought honestly i i, I kind of always thought that was stupid um we're finding polaroids in the world so I'm not sure I can carry much more. Polaroids are a thing. Here's me again. Lost. I'm gonna stay in here. So I'm happy that that they did away with the dark room and that it's actually a Polaroid camera that we're finding. kill some time to, waiting for that storm doing something so we may as well make these into cloth all right uh what else do we have We can make 10 hooks. That's... That's zero one. That's zero one. And together they make zero two. So this doesn't matter. But I guess it's, uh... Something to kill time, right? I 
wonder if I can drop any of this gear. All right, what do we got? Well, let's go have a peek. If we can see, we'll go. Nope, we can't see. I'm not going to go fumbling around out there in, uh, in a blizzard trying to make sure that I don't lose my my path to that lookout because I know I can miss that quite easily. Uh, by now, those two wolves I hit should be down. Eat this. Next time I want coffee time. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. I'm going to pat myself on the back with that one. I'm going to say that was a pretty good clean smooth slurp there sometimes they're not smooth all right uh what are we gonna do read a book sounds like that has ended I'm not happy about that because now it's like basically nighttime. But I'd rather sleep in the in the lookout than in that building. Try and get rid of some of our alertness. And hope, I don't think they can get the, I'm pretty sure that earlier in this run, like not even like within a week or so, I think we had crows while, whilst it was snowing. The wind is only minus nine, so that's not too high for them either. I don't hear them. Uh, I'm going to gather some sticks along the way. Just kind of whatever's in our path. And be keeping my eyes peeled. If I see a wolf coming my way, I'm dropping. But yeah, more than enough time has, has passed for those two wolves to go down. I don't know if that leaves two of them still up or three. I never did see how many were actually there to begin with. I want to go down here. you ah dang it I don't want that oh wow I'm taking the guts I don't care probably a bad thing to do we got night timber wolves casually walking with Raw guts. Now, can they? I'm gonna need to rest soon. 
How do you sprain your wrist while you're crawling? Come on, Glastrid. Oh, great. Not only do we have nighttime timber wolves, we have nighttime Aurora timber wolves. Alright, I don't know if they can come down here. Can I get under? Well, I guess I killed their morale. I didn't realize I had done that. Okay, so that's three arrows out in the wild. All of them seem to be attached to a wolf. I don't believe that guy went down either. I think he ran. I'm putting that away so I don't break my wrist again. I didn't even focus on the, the size of the... Uh, morale bar I know what the size looks like if there's two wolves and I kind of have an idea of what it looks like if there's three so I'm not actually sure how many wolves are out there still there's got to be one or two that haven't been hit Oh, this might be a nice little screenshot. All right, if there's matches, I don't care. As I stop and I look on the railing. <laughs> All right. Well, it's, it's not, honestly, it's not as nice a view as I would have thought it would be. Uh, I can basically just look at the sky. I think the auroras are way nicer when you can see other buildings in the background lit up. Some books. Oh, I have. You can go there. You can go there. Oh, wait, I had two of those. Yeah, those can go there, and you guys can go there. Am I on the right tab? Yes. Okay. 86. Have I mentioned why I never sharpen my knives? Ever? Have I ever mentioned that? If only... If only I could get to a spot. I think I can get on top of this, yeah. There we go. There we go. Finally. Damn it. We should be allowed to take that. Take the travel mug. Uh, we got a pot. Um, move that there. Is there anything under here? <laughs> Troll. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Perfect. we got this. Ooh. Gimme. You're not you're not you're not one of these. You are not the kind of computer I'm looking for. Alright, let's uh check that gun, make sure there's no bullets. Nope. Okay. Um that's gonna end up in the box. Obviously. Ten books. How what are they? Five kilograms, so that puts us down to fifty. You are cooked. What do I what's my I have that much, okay. Let's eat this. And I'm gonna leave this here and watch this. That will fill these up nice. That's almost perfect. I just want to die. I'm going to stomach. Oh my god. That's funny because you actually had me surprised for a moment thinking, how the hell did I get food poisoning? <laughs> Thanks, Bird. Yeah, I genuinely, genuinely thought, how, how is it possible? It said cooked. Uh, what do I, I need to actually cook anything though? I mean, I could, I could cook the deer. And do that. I'm going to burn all the books. Just for that bubble guts, Astrid. <laughs> Alright, that's 32 minutes. Well, maybe I'm not going to burn all the books because I'm not just going to make, you know, an 18 hour fire for no reason. I don't want to waste them. At the very worst, I, I think I'll just chuck them on the floor. Oh, how long are you? 45 minutes. That's a long... Oh, boy. Hey, 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 hey. Thirty-two minutes. All right, what do we got? Okay, we got three kilograms of books. I think the books are staying. Um, oh man, this is what I hate the most: is trying to figure out what do I leave. That's gonna probably, to be honest, that's probably just gonna go. There we go. We're good. But we still have two kilograms there on the fire. Um, we can... That's half a kilogram between these two flares. There we go. And... Maybe I drop a little bit of water. I mean, I have double. Actually, that's not two kilograms. That's only one because I found one here. Right, 45, 35. We're not done. I mean, we obviously are going to go looking for our arrows. As it is a small area. How long is that fire? If I put that on there, is it going to still be snow? Because that's not long enough. I'm going to give it... Well, this is an indoor fire. Now we're seven. There we go. And... Actually, I can drop these. 
There we go. All right, let's go look for our arrows. It's not very windy. It's nice and sunny. Shouldn't be that difficult. We got crows. So we have three arrows out in the wild. And possibly up to two more timber wolves. There's one. Damn it. Uh, 4.6. I'm going to do that. Do I need cans? I have pot. Didn't did I drop all of my cans? I thought I did, didn't I? I must not have. I probably actually have way more cans than I thought I had. Yeah, I do. And there's one. That is probably not... a wolf. That is for the deer that's in there. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Uh, oh, hey, there's a... That's a good one. Look at you. I would like to get close enough. Seriously? How did I miss all three shots? Were they all well over? And why were my arrows not easy? spot oh. he got almost all of it 29 minutes I got three arrows that I shot at this wolf and not one of them hit that wolf starting to feel numb Where did they go to? Too cold. Think. Did they hit the tree and bounce? I didn't see anything. Oh, bugger. Okay, that is BS. I had a clear shot on that guy. This needs to be fixed too. Well, let's put that as item number 721 on the list of... Can I actually reach them? Because this is even bigger B... Oh, there we go. One, two, three. All right, I was I was seriously wondering like how the hell is my aim that bad? I kind of thought that the very first shot might have been slightly to the left. But missing both of the other shots like no, there's no possible way. Now because it was technically hit the tree, technically. Do the arrows actually take damage? Or do they not? I don't know. I think when you hit a tree direct, it takes damage, obviously, right? But when you just hit the tree's hitbox, that's, that should be the same as hitting the actual tree. I don't know. 
All right, so we have two arrows. And I'm going to say we only have that one wolf. Um, wow, that was... <laughs> I mean, as much BS as that was, I mean, at the other, the other end of it, it's kind of cool. Hey, XM, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. Let's do that. And let's go look. There's that sapling Murd was screaming about. He made it sound like it was like wide open and... Oh, damn it, I don't have a rope. I didn't look at the... I didn't look at the lookout. It's probably on the outside hanging up. Um, I wanted to go kind of in that area there. You know what I'm going to do? We, we're freezing. Let's, uh... The rope is at the lookout on the outside. You walk past it going around. Yeah, okay. I, I... You know what? There's almost every time I go to a lookout, I do walk around. And I... Because... I, I don't know that it's a thing anymore. But I used to remember finding stuff. And so that's why I continue to do it. Because you never know. Sometimes there's not something there. But maybe it just didn't spawn that time, right? Maybe next time it is. Maybe it didn't. Maybe next time it is. And maybe, you know. So whatever. I mean, it's just a habit that I have. And it, when I walked around it when I, when I was there, when I got here, um, I wasn't actually looking for anything i was more concerned with like ooh, i wonder what the aurora looks like up here <laughs> and then yeah once i saw that there was no rope down there it reminded me like oh wait let's put you there that looks like a good place for you and mr saplin you can go right there and we got 10 minutes, 39. I think a book is enough to that, right? Books are 15 minutes though. That's not enough. 34, I'll use a stick, I don't care. I'll just get a piece of meat cooked. Uh, 35, let's forward time good enough uh where can we put i guess the uncooked meat can go here and the deer can go here and we are fully warm we still have a bit of hypothermia risk but i'm stuck wow how do we look i think astrid's got some booty she can't make it through there in reverse. She has to go in forward. I was legit stuck whilst trying to go backwards. Did that water boil over because I had water going, right? Oh, it must have. No. I don't remember anymore. I think I did put water on there, didn't I? It was an indoor fire, though. Oh, and I had that happen a little while ago. Remember? And I, I was, com I mean, I can't pinpoint the day, but there was a day where I was like totally confused. And I was wondering, like, did I not have like an hour 30 on that fire and it boiled over my water? 
which takes an hour 24. Um, I forgot to mention when I downloaded the video and I was re-watching. Um, that's exactly what it was. So there might be a bug with uh, cooking. Yeah, but some of the uh, being outside makes some of the indoor fires act as though they're out uh, indoors, but it doesn't make all of them. So to me, that's completely a bug. Because there's definitely some that that uh, if I throw a 10 minute item on it and I go outside, I come back. There's 10 minutes gone from the fire. There's others if you do the same thing, like four minutes is gone from the fire. So I'm I'm going to say fires are bugged as well. But let's just throw that on the list of stuff that ain't probably ever going to get fixed in my lifetime. Is it now too windy for crows? I got two arrows out here and I ain't leaving until I find them. Because like a big region is one thing. You know, like I'm not going to scour forlorn for two arrows but this is a pretty small region well this this section of the region because once those wolves despawn it's it's going to be next to impossible to find the arrows that wolf is coming back i'm not going to shoot him i mean if he goes into flight mode He's the only one. Take me to your buddies. Well, you know what? Whilst we walk around looking, grab sticks. Um. There's that area up ahead that you go inside of where there's sometimes a deer carcass or maybe it's always, I don't know. Um, I'm going to check in there, but I'm going to go up here and see if one of them maybe ran up here as well. Are we going in the same direction. Want to walk together? <laughs> You do not want to attack me, and I do not want to shoot you. Therefore, we can be friends. Uh, now, I know the wolves will come up here. I mean, I've fought them up here many, many, many times. But do they run up here on their own? So far, nope. I would. Oh, wait. Uh, it's minus 13 on the wind. I believe I saw crows where that deer is, right? Yeah, that was a while ago, though. I just want to make sure that there are crows. I hear them. Okay, that's a good sign. That looks like a wolf right there because the deer is more towards the center. 
Oh, that might be both of them. That will make me happy, happy, happy. There we go. We got one puppy here and we got another puppy right there. And there's my arrow. Looks like a belly shot. <laughs> Not really. All right, let's take five. And what the hell? Right. We'll take two guts off of each of them. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. We'll go get this one. What are we at for arrows? 737? 737? Yeah. Oh, you're not the other one. You're the doe. Damn it. I'll take 1.5. All right, we should have one more arrow out there. Somewhere. I should uh, eat and drink. Do that. I want to get rid of the wolf meat. Am I still carrying the rope? I probably am, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. You know, I meant to go pick up the rope and go deploy it because what kind of person wants to lug around five kilograms for no reason right okay the wind is now 23 and these crows are gone i believe that's the first wolf i found i'm gonna have to go double check though i mean if it's not could be a bonus <laughs> That, oh, that is the other one. Okay, good. Look at that. Some, uh, come on. I'm not really this dumb. You're like, you guys don't buy that, right? You know, I just do some of these things to make sure that you're all paying attention, right? <laughs> Please believe that. Please believe that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I am that dumb. All right, we are cold. I love when you have just the one timber wolf in the area because you, you can you don't need to drop your meat. Just like just go about your business. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if I was that good at pretending to to do stuff like that i would be in the wrong profession i would think i would have to go move to hollywood just be like i believe you are looking for actors where is let's go deploy the rope so I don't forget it again. I think we're spending the night here as well. Because why not? We have a friendly wolf. We have no reason. Oh, wow. It's way over there. <laughs> this stick is like it's here, bruh. Over here, bruh. Cherry Lum, welcome in. How are you doing? We are going to deploy a rope. We are in upper bleak. We have three bars of scent and we have one timber wolf alive up here. So we are safe. And 
I might drink a birch bark. I think. Let's get a, uh, get a wind block. Feels like minus one. Let's, uh, drink one of these. Get rid of that rope. I mean, we have 22 ready to go. I think I can spare the downing of one. All right, and we have a bunch of meat now. That is good. And we have all of our arrows. We have 38 there. And what do we have? Uh, we have any arrowheads? Did I break any down? No, I didn't. We have all of our arrows. That one's breaking definitely on the next. That's at 2%. I can't run. Want to go up there. It's only minus two, which that's actually not terribly bad. Pretty nice out. <laughs> I just need to punch trees and make a crafting table. <laughs> In the, in the update, it looks like, uh, it looks like we can make a workbench. I'm kind of looking, well, actually, I'm totally looking. I just forget exactly where about those matches spawn. I don't really care if I find them, though. All right, what do we got here? We got deer there. And we have wolf here. I will probably cook some of this. And we'll drop you there. Drop y'all right there. And... Oh, hey. Look what I can do. Do that. That gets rid of that. What games had workbenches before Minecraft? Oh, I have no idea. Come on, little fire. All right, what do we need more? Water or oh, here, that? If we had oil, is that the only other thing we would need to make carry pies? Well, um, uh, we're at 53, but that's with all of the meat. What are we at without it? So we're at 43.68. All right. All right, let's pick these. Actually, to be honest, let's use more of that. Um, we got to get some meat cooked. Uh, got the forest. In what condition? 58. And what are you, 2? 1.5? I'm wondering if I should take that down. Because what if in that house down there I find oil and a skillet? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. 
Hey, can you go down, please? Thank you. Um, okay, I had more cans than I thought I did. Okay, that's it. 29. 29 minutes. Where's our clothing? It's 87. I'm not repairing just to repair. Just to kill time, I'm not going to do it. Get a couple more of these on here. 39, 24. Uh, we'll use the cedar. Two twelve. I don't want to have too much water, and that puts us at. Uh, you're one fourteen. All right. I'm gonna do that. We're staying indoors. Do that. Um, except for when we go outside to drop the meat, of course. That. Get back in here. What's our weight? 4383. Alright. 131. That should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna drink this because I, I, I want to go down uh, the rope with full condition. Let's just do this. And I think I'll end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And I will see you all tomorrow.